Welcome to Media Gumbo. In this video, we're going to go through our top 10 picks of original series on Amazon Prime. It seems as if Prime is catching up with Netflix in regards to subscribers and content, and it doesn't look like they're stopping anytime soon. We're going to explore shows currently in their first seasons with some recently released limited series, which means we won't have top shows like The Boys or Jack Ryan on our list. For more content like this in which you can use us to find shows to watch, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. But without further ado, let's get to what you came for. Swear your oath, Moraine Sedai. Number 10, The Wheel of Time. Set in a high fantasy world where magic exists, but only some can access it, a woman named Moraine crosses paths with five young villagers. This sparks a dangerous world-spanning journey while believing one of the villagers is a reincarnation of a dragon, an extremely powerful channeler who broke the world. The Dragon Reborn is prophesized to either save the world from a primordial evil known as the Dark One or break it once more. While there's room for improvement and also reminiscent of a CW drama, there's enough in this show as a promising start to this fantasy adventure. If you're a fan of The Sandman on Netflix and Lord of the Rings, you'll like the magic and rustic value it has to offer. Also, if you like the Robert Jordan novels, this shouldn't disappoint. You can catch the first season now, with the second season rumored to start the second half of this year. She is not like everybody else. She knows what we're thinking and she gives it a name. Number 9. Swarm when left alone after a tragic accident, a girl named Dre, played by Dominique Fishback, develops a taste for murder and travels across the U.S. to get within reach of an object of her affection, a pop star which is obviously a fictional inspiration of Beyonce. Created by Janine Neighbors and Donald Glover, this series is a truly toxic take on fandom and in a good way for your viewing pleasure. In a day and age where people form communities around internet-connected passions, Swarm takes the cake. Funny, gory, and twisted, this show is a fresh take if you need something good to watch. In today's time, where almost every series nowadays is an unoriginal remake. This series just released, so before many of the spoilers reach you, you have a chance to catch it right now on Prime. Good morning, comrades. Number 8, The Consultant. This series follows the employees of a mobile gaming company whose leadership is taken over by a sinister consultant, played by Christoph Waltz. The Consultant is a solid addition to the thriller genre and forces you to take a second look at corporate culture. With no more than 30 minutes each episode, Christoph Waltz delivers a performance that is unmatched. If you need a thrill ride in a corporate space that you'll be probably yelling a few WTFs at the screen, I recommend watching The Consultant now on Prime. There's something out there. Number seven, Out of Range. The Abbots are coping with the disappearance of their daughter-in-law when the neighboring Tillersons make a play for their ranch land. Tensions come to head when a mysterious black void arrives in the Abbott's pasture. Some would argue this show is akin to Stranger Things, but creates its own path and succeeds at doing so as it doesn't stray too far away from reality. Bold and weird with flashes of dark humor, the surrealness keep the show from stalling. If you're in need of sci-fi twists and a great performance from Josh Brolin, check out Out of Range, just renewed for a second season on Prime. I know some of you have been waiting for your ride home, but you're going to have to wait a while longer. Number six, The Rig. Magnus, played by Ian Glenn, and his oil rig crew are stationed in the harsh waters of the North Sea. When it's time for them to return to the mainland, a mysterious fog causes tremors on the rig and diminishes their communication with the outside world. With decent special effects and gory physical trauma, the rig won't convert any fans in the world of environmentalists. With that being said, there's some good suspense and plenty of chills. If you need a supernatural thriller, The Rig is Deepwater Horizon meets 1899. You can catch it now on Prime with season two confirmed. But how much of everything do you really want to know? Number five, Daisy Jones and the Six. Daisy Jones and the Six is an American band drama based on a novel of the same name by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Set in the Los Angeles music scene of the late 1970s, this series notes the rise and fall of a fictional self-presumed rock band. Is this a groundbreaking series? No. Is it a great biopic of a band that never existed? Absolutely. Great music, acting, and cinematography brings this limited series to life. It does start slow for the first few episodes, but the hook of drama, scandals, and love affairs gets you glued by the time the story gets up to speed. Highly recommended for people that have a deep nostalgia for the late 70s. If you want to blast into the past fix before cell phone and social media was a thing, catch the limited miniseries Daisy and the Six now on Amazon Prime. I know you feel out of place, like your life isn't your own. Number four, The Devil's Hour. 
A social worker wakes up every night at exactly 3.33 a.m. in the middle of what's called the devil's hour for no reason after having scary visions. She keeps getting deja vu and visions of things that never happened while connected to a string of murders. She's then drawn into a hunt for a serial killer. Stars rarely align for a great series, but this one is nearly perfect, well acted with great cinematography and full of supernatural madness. If you're in search of a murder mystery brushed with spooky adolescence and great acting, The Devil's Hour is for you. Amazon has confirmed a season two and three for this series right now on Prime. And it's everyone else that's dead. Number three, The English. Lady Cornelia Locke, played by Emily Blunt, travels to the West in 1890, looking for revenge on a man she sees as responsible for the death of her son, and meets an ex-Calvary scout named Eli. In lieu of traveling to Nebraska to claim the land that he's owed, and despite having never been told that this claim won't be honored, he and Lady Cornelia discover a possible shared history. This is definitely a new take on a Western. While extremely tough and sordid, the writing doesn't fall victim to Western gimmicks and instead puts the pieces of the story together beautifully. Full of action and intense scenes, if you're in Westerns and need something new, I recommend The English, now on Prime. I'm done pretending that I can live in a sim. Number two, The Peripheral. After a girl and her brother complete a dangerous mission in the virtual world, the repercussions inadvertently affect their lives in the current world. Fan of Westworld or Ghost in the Shell? The Peripheral is a fresh take on a near dystopian future that brings in all the bells and whistles while not distancing too far off realism of what could be in the next few decades. Full of sci-fi tech action, it's extremely cinematic, big budget fitting, and highly engaging. If you're in need of a cyberpunk fix, check out The Peripheral on Prime now with a second season confirmed to come soon. Honorable Mentions The Terminal List Invincible Lord of the Rings Bronze Star, Silver Star, and a Purple Heart. Number one, Reacher. Jack Reacher is a former U.S. Army military policeman. While visiting the town of Margrave, Georgia, he is falsely arrested for murder. After he's freed, he teams up with a police chief and a police officer to investigate a wide conspiracy within the force, politicians, and businessmen. Based on the Lee Childs novels, the series doesn't disappoint. You get a mix between Rambo and Sherlock Holmes in this action-packed thriller series. As a much closer adaptation in the books than the movies are, if you're in need of quick wit and great action, Reacher is the show for you to watch now on Prime with a second season on the way in the future. Any shows you're watching on Amazon Prime you think we missed? Give us some of your suggestions in the comments. Also, as always, don't forget to subscribe for more Media Gumbo content every week.